Logic Pro is a very powerful audio editor, but in order to harness this power, you have to know all of the different editing tools, where they are, and how to use them. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate several of the different audio editing tools and show you several ways to access them. The first tool I want to talk about is the Pointer tool. It is the default tool you get upon opening Logic. Believe it or not, this is a very powerful and important tool as it allows you to select regions, like so, and also move regions and copy regions while holding down the Option modifier, like this. I'm holding Option and I drag and let go, making sure to let go of the mouse before I let go of Option. It makes a copy of the region. I do that. But the pointer tool is much more than meets the eye. If I move my pointer tool to the top right corner of a region, I get what's called the loop tool. The loop tool will allow me to drag the region and make loops of this region. As I continue to drag it, it'll just continue to loop that region. I can also drag back and unloop the region. Also, if you move it to the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner of your region, you get what's called the resize tool. The resize tool does exactly what its name suggests. It resizes the region or trims away the end of the region or the beginning of the region. Now remember, an audio region is just a pointer to a parent file that's on the hard drive. So this is like my mom's drapes. When I click and drag this way, I'm opening those drapes to reveal what's actually on the parent file. And when I drag it this way, I'm also revealing. But when I click and drag to the left from the front, then I'm closing those drapes. And from the right on the back, I'm also closing those drapes all the way down to where I can't see almost anything. Now, because your regions are just pointers to your parent file, this is a non-destructive process, meaning I can drag this back out. And when I get to the end where there's no more parent file, I can't drag out any further. So I'm at the end and that's the entire parent file to the end. But on the front, there's actually more audio that can be revealed and I'll drag this out. And it looks like I'm dragging it further than what the audio was originally, but when I let it go, you'll see it snaps back and that's the beginning of the parent file. Now, the pointer tool is just the default tool, but it's really the left click tool. You have a audio editing tool menu here at the top and you have basically two menus. The one that my mouse is over now is what's called the left click tool. And right now by default, it is your pointer tool. That's what you see on the screen. To the right of that, you have your command click tool. Your command click tool by default is the marquee tool. And in order to access the command click tool, you have to hold down the command modifier. So if I put my mouse back on the region and hold down command, my pointer tool changes to a marquee tool. Now the marquee tool is used to select portions of a region or the entire region and beyond or different sections of your track or anywhere in your main window. When you make a selection on a region and you start playback, playback will start at the beginning of the selection and end at the end of the selection, like so. Now, you can also make a marquee selection off of a region just by holding down command and click. And now you have this marquee selection, which looks like a little white line. If I start playback, it will always start right on that marquee selection. Stop it, start playback again. You can also use your marquee to mark edit points. So if I hold down command and click in the middle of this region, and then hit delete, it will actually split that region in two. If I make a selection of a portion of the region and hit delete, it will delete out that section of the region. Or if I make a selection of a portion of the region and then click it with my arrow tool and drag it, it will split it and separate it away from that region. Undo, Command Z. I can also very quickly split this region in two by holding down command and just double clicking. And now it did the same as if I had made a marquee selection and hit delete. It splits the region. Undo. Now, these two editing two menus here have a lot more tools available to you when you click the drop down menu. 
you'll see that you have the pointer tool, pencil tool, eraser tool, text tool, scissor tool, glue tool, solo tool, mute tool, zoom tool, fade tool, automation select tool, automation curve tool, marquee tool, and the flex tool. Those are your tools available to you for audio editing in the left click tool. They are the exact same tools that are available to you in the command click menu. So I could change the left click tool to the marquee tool and I can make the command click tool the pointer tool if I like. You have the exact same options in either menu. So I'm going to change this back to the pointer tool and this back to the marquee tool. So now that you know where your default editing tools menu is, I'm going to show you how you never have to go here again.